The Girl on the Train Movie Review Based on the best-selling book of the same name by British novelist Paula Hawkins, Tate Taylor and Aaron Cressida Wilson's The Girl on the Train is a psychological mystery thriller set in the United States. Starring in the movie are Lisa Kudrow, Rebecca Ferguson, Alison Janney, Haley Bennett, and Emily Blunt. The movie portrays an alcoholic divorcee who gets embroiled in a search for a missing individual. After losing her job and her marriage, Rachel Watson, an alcoholic in recovery, now idly travels into New York City by train every day. She obsesses over the lives of her ex-husband Tom, his new wife Anna, and their neighbors Scott and Megan Hipwell. Megan was a nanny for Tom and Anna's infant daughter Evie, but had recently left the couple. Rachel struggled with depression about her infertility during her marriage to Tom. She also developed a drinking problem, which resulted in frequent blackouts and destructive conduct. She caused a scene at a barbecue Tom's boss hosted after becoming too intoxicated, and Tom was fired as a result. Currently, Rachel regularly calls Tom and Anna throughout the day while intoxicated, though she has little recollection of this after she sobers up. Rachel becomes enraged when she sees Megan kissing a stranger on the way home one afternoon. She approaches Megan to confront her but later, drenched in blood, she finds herself in her own bed. Detective Riley questions Rachel after learning that she was spotted nearby the day Megan was reported missing. In order to inform Scott of the affair, Rachel contacts him under the guise of Megan's acquaintance. He presents he presents her with a photo of Megan's psychiatrist, Dr. Kamal Abdik, whom Rachel recognizes as the man she saw kissing Megan. Abdik is therefore questioned as a suspect, but when he admits to the police that Scott had emotionally abused Megan, the focus turns on him. Rachel has a meeting with Abdik because she thinks he's connected to Megan's disappearance, but ends up talking to him about her own emotional problems. Abdik remembers a meeting with Megan where she disclosed she gave birth to a child when she was a very young girl. Megan has never forgiven herself for the baby's unintentional drowning in the bathtub. Testing reveals that Megan was pregnant when she was discovered dead, but neither Scott nor Abdik were the father. Invading Rachel's home, Scott confronts her firmly for having misled him about her acquaintance with Megan, leading the police to Abdik and making him the new top suspect. Riley tells Rachel that Scott has been ruled out as a suspect because there is CCTV evidence of him at a pub at the time Rachel tries to call the police to report the attack because she thinks Scott's aggressiveness shows he may have killed Megan. Rachel apologizes for her actions at the barbecue where she thinks she shattered a platter, hurled food, and insulted Martha. Martha insists she did nothing wrong, and it is revealed that Tom had been dismissed for having sex with co-workers. Rachel runs into Martha, the wife of Tom's former boss, on the train. Rachel understands that the wounds she had when she woke up were caused by Tom physically assaulting her during her blackouts and planting false memories in her head during her drinking binges. In the meantime, Anna is convinced that Tom is having an affair. She stealthily discovers a cell phone hidden in their home, and the voicemail message shows that it belonged to Megan. A sober now when Rachel tried to confront Tom after discovering Megan meeting him on the day she vanished, he allegedly struck her. Rachel cautions Anna, who is already informed, 
that she knows Tom killed Megan because she wouldn't have an abortion of his child. Tom gets upset when the two ladies confront him, attempts to make Rachel drink alcohol once again, throws the drink in her face, and then knocks her out. The front door is locked when Rachel tries to get out when she first wakes up. When Anna watches from the top of the stairs, protecting Evie, Tom tries to choke her. After going back through the kitchen twice, Rachel grabs a corkscrew. Tom drags her outside, and as she turns, she uses the corkscrew to stab him in the neck. Then Anna shows up and twists it deeper into Tom's neck, murdering him and exacting revenge on Megan for her demise. When questioned by Riley, Rachel and Anna give the same accounts of shooting Tom out of self-defense after he confessed to being Megan's killer. Anna acknowledges that Rachel had been accurate in every way. We are tied forever now, the three of us, by the story we shared, Rachel says as she stands in front of Megan's gravestone later. Later, with hopes for a new life, she seats on the other side of the train. In October 2016, the girl on the train became available. It received mixed reviews, but Blunt's performance was praised by critics and earned her nominations for the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role at the 70th British Academy Film Awards and the 23rd Screen Actors Guild Awards for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Leading Role. The same name was remade in Hindi and released in 2021 with Bollywood actress Parini Chopra playing the lead.